Today let's do some questions on application of stack. The first one I'll take up here is uh, give the postfix form of the expression. Now here let's uh, do this one not A or not B and not C. Now here this is uh, the operators here are not or and and now the order of priority for this is not and and then finally or right now look at this here if I want to give the postfix expression of this first of all wherever you have this not I'll put that in bracket like this this is not B and then and not C right now we have or and and here and has got a higher priority so this and will be evaluated after evaluating this brackets that is not right okay not is inside the bracket uh, the first one we will do is not here you see this not b and not c this i am putting in one bracket like this right and then finally this whole thing is put in another bracket like this right so now first of all let the outermost bracket be like this this becomes a naught let's put this in bracket as of now a naught or here you have got two brackets this is b naught I'm converting that into a postfix right and c naught okay now let's take up this a naught or now see this b naught and c naught will become b naught c naught and then and like this right now you have or in between so now what will happen a naught b naught c naught and and then or this is the final uh, answer for this this is the postfix expression for this right now I'll show you one more uh, question in this give the postfix expression for this let's say not not and then inside the brackets they have been given a or b this is within the brackets and then and c right now when you evaluate this since a or b is already given in the brackets that will be evaluated first so here it will be a b or right and then you have and c now this and and not not has got a higher priority so now what i'll do is i'll write like this not a b or this is inside a bracket and then and c and this one is the outer bracket here right so here when you do this it becomes a b or not okay a b or not and then you have and c this outer bracket is still there now you have this a b or not and c right so this will be a b or not c and then and this will be the answer for this right so here since a or b is already given in the brackets that will be evaluated first 
and then not and then and right now uh, another type of question which comes in stacks is this evaluate the following postfix expression using a stack and show the contents of the stack after execution of each operation the question is 120 comma 45 comma 20 comma plus comma 25 15 minus plus and then multiplication right now when you have to do such questions let's do it stepwise right the first thing that you have to do step one right here you have to show the stack now whenever you get a number that will be pushed into the stack so 120 is pushed into the stack right and then 120 is here right and then the next one is 45 right so now 45 is also pushed into the stack like this right so this is 120 this is 45 here right 120 and 45 after that step 3 again a number that is 20 so that will also go into the stack so now your stack is like this right so this is 120 120 this is 45 and this is 20 here right after that now come to this step 4 now here it is a plus sign it is an operator right so when you read that plus sign what happens is that plus sign is applied uh, this is 20 here sorry 20 right okay now this plus sign this will be applied to these two right 45 plus 20 fine so now what will happen now your stack will look like this here it is so 120 is same 45 plus 20 is 65 okay these two are added after that step 5 you have 25 so 25 is again a number so it will go into the stack so now in the stack you already have 120 and 65 now one more number goes there right so here it is 120 65 and 25 right after that step 6 it is 15 right so here you have like this 1 2 3 and one more I need right so now look at this stack 120 65 25 and then 15 right now after 15 we have a minus sign right now we come to step 7 right now in step 7 I'll make the stack here minus sign means what will happen these two will be subtracted right so now it is like this here the stack will become 120 right 65 
and then 25 minus 15 is 10 right okay now after that you have a plus sign so now that plus sign will be applicable for these two right so now step 8 step 8 what will be the stack now the stack will be like this this is 120 and here this is 75 right and then step 9 see here okay I'll write step 9 first step 9 step 9 is multiplication so multiplication here is basically for these two right these two will be multiplied so now your stack is going to be like this right what is 120 into 75 120 into 75 will be 9000 right so this 9000 is going to be the final answer here this is the eval after the evaluation you get the answer as 9000 right this is how these questions have to be done by showing the stack status right here uh, this was step 3 in this step 4 uh, you can write here in step 4 20 plus 45 is added right okay 20 plus 45 is added right and uh, in step 7 this is 25 minus 10 this 10 which you are getting here this one this is what this is 25 minus 10 right and step 8 is 65 minus 65 plus 10 right this is 65 plus 10 and finally step 9 is 75 into 120 okay hmm. so this is how such questions have to be done in which you have to evaluate the postfix expression um, so we have seen three questions here this was the first one give the postfix form of the expression and the second one again was a similar one but uh, postfix form for this right and the third one is evaluating the following postfix expression right in the next session we'll take up some more questions different types of questions which you get in stacks applications of stacks so with that i come to the end of this session